Hi everyone. You remember back when it was Passover and Moses led the Jewish people out of Egypt. The Jewish people wandered in the desert for 40 years and Moses didn't go with them to the land of milk and honey. God had another job for Moses. Moses went up to Mount Sinai and again he spoke where God, God spoke to Moses. And God gave Moses the Ten Commandments. Those are the rules that we Jewish people need to learn and listen to in order to get along with everybody. They're very important. Well, Shavuot is also a time when it is traditional to eat foods that are dairy. No meat is eaten that during that time. And one of the popular foods to make and eat and enjoy is cheese blintzes. So today I am going to make a type of blintz, a cheese blintz, that everybody can do and make together and enjoy. It is very simple and it only has a few ingredients. So everyone can help with this. You need to have bread, sliced bread. And I used for this white bread. It's the only time I ever eat white bread because I don't normally enjoy that. But this, you need a very soft bread. So if you have whole wheat bread, as long as it's soft, it probably will work. And it has a crust on it. For this, you need to cut the crust off. So you can either tear it or use a plastic knife, or if a grown up needs to help you, you can use a regular knife. And so I have all the crust off of this bread. And you're going to make a couple of um, slices per person to enjoy this. Okay, so you've cut the crust off of the bread and then you're going to flatten it out. That's why you need a soft bread, really, 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 really thin. It's almost gonna be like a pancake, very, very thin. Okay. Then you're going to take some cream cheese that's softened, because it needs to spread. And you're gonna take the cream cheese and put it all over the bread the whole thing from one corner to the other. I bet you can practice with a plastic knife or a butter knife spreading it. You can do this. I know you can. Okay, so here's my white bread that's flattened with cream cheese. The next thing you're going to do is you're, I, I know I can't show you, but I'm going to tell you, explain it, and then I'll show you. You're going to roll it up. Roll it up. Snug as a rug in a Snug as a bug in a rug. See that? Okay, that's one. You're gonna do as many as you want. Okay, then you are going to have some melted butter. By now it's cooled off and you won't, you won't get burnt, I promise. You're gonna take your rolled up bread and dip it in to the melted butter. Then you're ha you will have a mixture of sugar and cinnamon in a flat bowl or a piece of wax paper, I suppose. You're gonna take your butter dipped bread and roll it into the cinnamon sugar mixture. Mmm, the cinnamon smells so good. So after you have made as many as you want to, you put it on a foil lined cookie sheet and put it into the oven on 350 for about eight minutes. You'll have to try it and see. Now mind you, everything here is cooked and you could eat it whether it's um, cooked or not, but it's always better after it's warm and a little bit crispy on the outside. These are ones that I made just before. They're cool now, they came out of the oven Mmm, crispy on the outside, sweet and creamy from the cream cheese on the inside. That's all there is to it. I hope you'll make it for Shavuot and maybe you like it for breakfast other times. But I hope you like it and enjoy and I'll see you soon.